what is going on ladies and gentlemen it is your boy hunter x here bringing us another episode of project coven so hope you're all having a fantastic day with that being said you know you're click that subscribe button as we're on our way to 500 subscribers with that being said let's get into today's episode Alrighty guys, so in between episodes, I have done a little bit of work. I've made us some dark steel. I made some end steel, but I also then turned that end steel into a melodic alloy because today we need to go ahead and get stellar alloy. Stellar alloy is going to be made with nether stars or clay per and melodic alloy. And I need to count how many of these we actually need for this guy. So it looks like we need two, four, six. So it looks like we need six. So that means we're gonna need a total of 24 clay, 24 clay, six of the stars. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some clay here. So 24 of these bad boys, these bad boys right here with the good old neither stars. Oh, do nether stars not have EMC though? Um, negative on that, sir. So that means I need to go ahead and fight a few withers. Okay, so that means we're gonna want to take a quick detour. Uh, wait. Let me just let me just double check to see if I have a wither killer. I might have done it by hand. The last time that we fought the wither oh my god why is everything so loud right now what the heck okay i think we fought him by hand i can't really tell yeah we might have fought him by hand that's okay so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead go ahead and make a quick mob crusher if it's doable right i mean i really don't want to have to fight six withers by myself because that's like kind of like Mm, mm, monka s that's monka sketch um okay machine frames are not too bad so we need four annoy crystals so that's gonna be four elementium four elementium redstonia is going to be elven red alloy unless if we have some already ready to go which we very well might might have some of that but i don't think we do uh how many elementium i said i'm gonna need i'm going to need four elementium okay four and then nine of the red alloy elven red alloy we're gonna need nine of those bad boys because we're gonna need a full block for that okay drop this drop this and do the quick zippity zap and that should be fine i'm gonna quickly make one of these make the block form real quick and then that needs to go ahead and be made in the oh wait i need an extra oh wait, i need an extra two as well of the nori crystal so that's gonna be an extra two elementium I believe and then also an extra uh elven red alloy um elven red alloy i kind of need you for the crafting recipe buddy buckaroo i kind of wish that we had more ender things because this thing is quite slow oh uh, wait no i need Great wood planks and it seems as that great wood, great wood planks don't have emc for some reason even though i know i thought they did have emc great wood saplings do i read make more of this i don't have any more okay tell you what i'll be right back once i'm done grinding some stuff I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I know I did. I went to my brother's wedding this past Sunday and it was amazing. I got to see 
my brother's family my 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 two sisters and uh, if you're wondering what i'm referring to i my brother's friend uh had a wedding uh this past weekend and it was a great time got to see the whole family again really miss them a lot and all the all the shebang you know what i mean so i had a really good weekend uh saturday was a pretty bad day for me the last saturday was a pretty bad day for me uh definitely wasn't focused at all so this week this is probably gonna be the one week that you guys will get uh sort of day of videos i i hate day of videos but it's just the way that the weekend panned out for me yeah it just yeah it was not not happening not this weekend but uh yeah so you guys will get to see sort of i mean they won't be day day of they'll be like kind of like you know the night before kind of deal you know what i mean i will definitely i try to avoid um you know those sort of circumstances for sure um i don't really like making day out videos because then i feel they're like really rushed and stuff like that versus like now like this is still kind of like day of ish but it's more i think i'm still in my natural recording state and i'm not like trying to like cram in as much you know what i mean or are you do you understand what i'm trying to say so yeah but i hope you guys had a good weekend i hope you guys had a lot of good fun you know some good maybe ate some good food uh, i know that halloween is coming around the corner are you guys gonna go trick-or-treating um is your state doing trick-or-treating I'm not really sure how that works due to you know COVID protocols and and you know and staying safe and and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not really sure how that works. Isn't that the recipe? It is, but it's really slow. Why not? Oh, you know what? I don't have. I left the game running basically all day while I was at the wedding. The game was running, and I didn't turn the watch off. So you know we ran. We kind of ran out of coal. You know just may have ran out a little bit of coal it's fine uh we're gonna, oh, did we also do the other stuff already i'm not even sure if we did the other stuff uh the mob crusher this is gonna be really awesome for us uh, i'm sure i'm gonna need to make book and quills and i'm gonna need to make those gears so i should probably just i should just prep for those now shouldn't i didn't i make oh i didn't make the two inori crystal yet nice i'm smart i promise i'm smart i mean i've got to be pretty smart right because modern minecraft or at least expert style packs like this you gotta use some computing power right there's definitely some computing power involved especially when it comes to high high ratios yeah high ratios kind of are kind of kind of bad um i do want to bring factorial to the pat uh to the channel again i mean i've made like three videos on factorial like i actually do want to play like a full like playthrough of it uh i just you know i i i think i got COVID at the time of recording factorial or either i got super busy with minecraft i can't remember exactly what happened um when i was recording factorial but I've been getting into it again as of recently, you know, you know, maybe come follow me on Twitch. Uh, I think I'm going to start playing Factorial. I know that we played it last Friday and I had a blast playing on this new space adventure map or mod uh, for Factorial. There's a lot of fun. It added new it's like um it's like playing like an expert minecraft pack right the early game was definitely changed and it was pretty cool like you had like burner uh burner labs and burner assembly machines it was really it was really it was really neat and then i feel like the the current factory that i'm building is so cool because it's so neat and i'm so proud of it and I'm usually not very proud of many things that I do. It's just the way I am. You know, if you've been around for a while, you know, I'm pretty rough on myself when it comes to kind of stuff like that. 
So, I mean, I'm pretty proud. Um, if I remember to throw uh, an image on screen now, um, that's my factory that I built and that I'm currently working on because I do plan on going back and playing more. I just don't know when. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff going on right now on Twitch. This is a perfect time to plug my cha my Twitch channel. If you haven't gone over there and followed, I'm basically live there Sunday through Friday. Um, I mean, times do vary, but usually between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Fridays, I do start stream late because, again, I have therapy, so it's a little challenging, but, you know, I won't have therapy after three weeks. So come November 15th, after November 15th or before then, because I only have like three weeks left, like three more sessions or something until my therapist leaves which is sad because truly i do i truly i truly do like my therapist both ways i think she's adorable but also i like her because she's a good fucking therapist um in my opinion but you know it's just such as life and i really do hope that i'm able to kind of you know keep in touch with her because i don't know I felt comfortable and whatnot around her. It was great. I felt great, but you know, you know how it is sometimes. Um, wait, how did I craft that without not? I'm so confused on how that worked, but okay. Maybe I had the materials already and I just used them or something. But yeah, so hopefully. If I do decide to stay with the current therapy company that I am with, then it would be really nice to, you know, it, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to stay because like, I mean, I really liked my therapist and she's leaving and I'm sad. Like I'm genuinely actually sad because like, I don't know, man, like I, I think I like I've only had her since august right not even i don't think i think i've had it like maybe two months and it's she's already gone it just it just makes me sad it makes me really sad and now we should be able to do the um i should be able to kill six withers at once right i mean the, the mob crush is a pretty pretty cool block um so he should be able to kill like literally like a few of these at a time i, I thought i could have sworn i thought that this guy had emc maybe i'm going crazy maybe i'm remembering a different pack i mean it, it is a little challenging i'm not gonna lie it does get a little challenging when you're doing multiple like for example, right, we have the three the three mod packs on the YouTube channel, right? We have FTB Ocean Block currently. We have um, FTB Ocean Block. We have um, I can't think of the name of the pack. Exigens. This pack. Let me make sure that I'm not on peaceful. All right. Okay, that is loud. I'm backing up. Why is I think everything is super loud to me right now for some reason. It's like my ears are on super sensitive mode. And just like that, I've killed a crap ton of withers. What I might do actually is just like kind of, you know, build like a a bedrock encasement around the outside of this. I needed six of them. I mean, I could move the wither killer in here actually, which would be way more smarter um, to do that than what we're currently doing. Uh, it's six, right? Yeah, six times 24, six melodic ingots. And that should get us a stick six Stella ingots that we need. So with that being said, we'll let that cook up and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so 
I've been kind of doing some stuff here. We need to get pyrothium, so I've been kind of just doing some stuff and making us a magma crucible because we're gonna need it. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not terribly hard to make one of these, so I'm just trying to whip one up real quick, so that way we have one uh, to make the magma, uh, not the magma, the the beautiful uh, pyrothium that we actually need for uh said thing uh for the next at oh, what the heck is happening uh for the next alloy that we need which is adamantium which we can't melt the stuff for adamantium because oh i forgot yeah these things aren't the cheapest thing in the world but we're gonna have to make it work somehow right I'm thinking we only need one of these transduction trans something coils they're pretty uh pretty difficult to make um i keep clicking the wrong thing uh do we have the electrum wires we in fact do thank god oh yeah that's right it's not gonna it doesn't like it when you do it in this crafting table and I don't have what I need. It's only 16 of these. Thank God. I mean, it's still pretty expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's, I think I'm getting robbed over here. It's still pretty expensive. But it's not as bad. Um, excuse me. Why are you going so slow? Stop it. Speed up. Speed up, buckaroo. This is one of those things that you have to craft outside of the storage my bobber because yeah it doesn't like it <laughs> it does not like it at all it's probably to do with some nbt data data thing all right we got ourselves a nice magma crucible and we're gonna cheat the system once again because why the hell not i mean you know one of these throw it on there and then get us another one of those seared tanks. Uh, we're going to, uh, we can use it anyway, because you know, that way we can just swap it out with the lava and call it a day. It will be super easy, super simple. You know what I mean? I don't think this is automated quite yet. So that's perfect. I wish you could have two different smeltery fuels. Like how sick would that be? If you can actually have two different smeltery fuels, this should get me four buckets because every one of these is 250 mil buckets. So it should get me a full on full tank of seared or of pyrothium. Sorry. And then we can go ahead and pop that on. Now, this stuff is pretty rare. Um, as is so. You know there you go i mean it's not that terrible to make but it's pretty terrible <laughs> i'm not gonna lie it's pretty terrible to make these i think it's one of these so this is gonna be that plus that and i don't think we've made this yet because hold on we need this which that's also another alloy recipe in the thing so solarium plus vibrantium that's where the vibrantium comes from and i think you or double right oh my god that's perfect oh i just freaking messed up okay hunter what are you doing pay attention like why didn't why why hunter why did you do that um sometimes sometimes i don't pay attention and i end up doing silly things like that now i hope this isn't going to be too hot that it makes my thing go boom boom right we don't want to lose i mean to be fair it's only a little it's only a little bit of solarium what's the worst that can go wrong you know it's just like what's the worst that can go wrong and then that and i believe it's two iox to make three of these yes mm-hmm 
That's right. So we want to pop those two in there. And that's going to make us three ingots of adamantium, which I believe that's exactly what we need to that. Adamantium's done. I actually don't know if Iox is finished quite yet. So we need one, two, three, three solarium and one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the Mirian. Okay. Let's actually start putting this together because I'm going to start getting really confused really quickly on which alloys we do not have and which alloys we do have because you know it does get a little complicated right so we we have nuclearium we don't need proxy we don't need solarium we need hold on okay so we need the crystal teen and gets the four crystal teen which needed right which you needed all this stuff okay and the fractum we still haven't got because we got the trivium obsidian okay how much trivium do we have we have quite a few of that we have 11 blocks okay so we have 99 ingots and for this we need four of these ingots which you need two of these, which means we need eight of these eight times six. No, wait. Four? Is it six times four that we need? We need eight total ingots. Each craft gives you two. So that means we're going to want eight divided by two, which is four times two is eight abyssium, 24 of that and eight. Okay. So 24 of this eight obsidian and eight abyssium. That took me a, that took me a minute to like to process exactly what we needed in terms of, you know, getting the stuff and this should be good. I want to make sure that that damn timer is off because, you know, and then once this obsidian smells, we should be good. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to go ahead and make some of this. One, two, three. Um, what out of Gaia spirits? It's four per. Ooh, am I not gonna have enough now? Am I gonna have to do another Gaia fight? That might be the case. Boy. Boy. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna go. Yes. I'm 100% gonna have to do another guy fight, I think. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Yes. I'm gonna do another guy fight. I thought 12 spirits would be enough. But I guess not. Alrighty, let me get a terror steel. Let me do this guy fight, and I guess we'll be right back. Only five guy fights later, I finally killed the damn thing because he wouldn't like let me win because he's a meanie poo. But I think we're pretty much there. We just need a few extra items at this point in time um 
not really sure which alloys were missing. Um, the fractum didn't seem to really go through too well. I'm not really sure what happened there. I don't know. It's fine. I think we got what we needed. Right? No, there's no way. Yeah, we have eight. So that's all that matters. Oh, wait. I think I'm going to need my... I think I'm gonna need my extreme alloy my extreme alloy table to create this. Yep, I'm gonna need the extreme table. Um, that's kind of awkward because mine is kind of being in use at the moment. So if it, I have to go all the way back down the crafting chain. E yeah all right now we need uh 16 uru ingots uru uru times 16 yes this stuff gets hella expensive quite quickly um eight 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 and then in between that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So 12 times four is going to be 48, I believe. That is going to be 48 vibranium. Just like that. I got to click this really fast because unfortunately, Due to the fact that stack sizes are massive in this pack, it's not the easiest thing. And those are going to make a claw like shape. So something like that. Is that correct? Yes. Is that correct? Maybe. And then the fractum. What goes in the middle? Your four solarium. There you go. And then you can do the claw shape. Wait, what? How does that not check out? I don't know how I made a mistake there, but I made a mistake. I have no idea how that did not math correctly. Almost if one of them got an extra that it wasn't supposed to get, but I don't see any extras. There you go. Oh, there is extras. The two Ezo ingots above these would have gave it away. I'm very smart. Mm hmm. I don't think we need anything else with extended crafting at the moment. That's like crazy. Right. All right, what are we missing? I think we have everything besides like maybe the stellar alloy that I had over here cooking. We should have everything for the Medal of Hero. Maybe if we get lucky. 
Yep, we have everything. Beautiful. That is an achievement, if I say so myself. Now, just to make sure that we actually don't lose this guy, we're going to go ahead and duplicate him with mana because we can do that. That is a valid recipe over here. It, it does cost a little bit of mana. Do it each time. But now we have six instead of one. So now we never have to worry about losing them ever again, which is super nice. Um, especially since this was a little bit of a, a tricky deck to craft for sure. But with that being said, guys, unfortunately, it is time to wrap up today's episode. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ding dong that notification bell. Become a part of the Hunters Tribe. We are on our way to 500 subscribers. As always, guys, all my social medias will be linked down in the description down below. With that being said, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Till next time.